Pelham police have an ongoing investigation. They want to know who set up this barbed wire, not at the entrance, but well into the well-used recreational trail. Police call it deliberate and dangerous. It was deep in the trail on a turn, uh, and if someone came around the turn uh, or going down the trail, yeah, you wouldn't see it. And if you're going at any high rate of speed, even on a bicycle, um, it could definitely cause some injury. There are new homes adjacent to the old trail, a trail maintained by a local snowmobile club. ATVs aren't legal for riding here, but come through regularly, just like the bikers and joggers. Police say the ATVs can do a number on the turf, and that upsets some. And I don't want to accuse anybody, but it could be a neighbor who might have a gripe with people going through, because these trails go right through their backyards. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I seldom even notice them. Um, I think it gets a little bit more active after we get into the winter and it snows. We don't know if anybody has a, a particular gripe, but it does make no sense and serves no purpose in the middle of a trail. Police now sharing this photo of the dangerously stretched out wire in hopes of pulling in tips on who did this. Police took the wire into evidence on Monday. Just looking at it, it's incredibly weathered. It's not widely used, and the barbs could really tear someone up. I think that's really sad. It's, it's not the temperament of people that I know here. You can see exactly how close the homes are. There are so many homes in this area, so police immediately were hoping for some surveillance footage from this area. But what they found was not helpful, so they need the public's help. Call if you have any information. Live in Pelham, New Hampshire, Rondella Richardson, WCBB, News Center 5.